the Towers of Haunting. I seriously am getting worse and worse at these intros, I swear. Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason rolling you back to more Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Last time, we went through a job for a plumber. And this time, we're heading into B-2, the Pinwheel Gate. Luigi, want to hear the, the news about the Dark Moon piece? Well, the periscope was having a heck of a time trying to pinpoint its location. But then it hit me. I can analyze the Dark Moon pieces we already have to improve the precision. Naturally, I was right. And after a little tinkering, the periscope produced better results. Remember that gigantic tree? The Dark Moon piece seems to be somewhere up there. So, we know roughly where it is, but the hard part is getting there. We'll need to cross the newly raised bridge and explore the interior of the hollow tree to find a way up. Got all that? Off you go! Back in the haunted towers once again. This time, we need to, you know, get inside that tree. First things first, now that the water is back on, what we can do is come over here uh, and, you know, go ahead and douse these with these plants with water. Because by doing so, we will be able to, you know, uh, use the um, straw ball on, on them and get some money from them. Which is very good for us. Go ahead and come over here and kick this, uh, kick this tree, and we'll find a golden bat. And actually, now that I think about it, is there anything in here? I didn't check this before, but if we would have checked it previously, it actually would have, I think, shown the boo, where the boo might have gone. But you know, other than that, it's just how it is, I guess. All right, anyway, go ahead and come over here. Something else we can do is grab this water. And you can, um, technically you can you uh, press these, um, uh, press these, uh, whatchamacallits, um, pre uh, press these switches that we saw last time down and as long as you have one of these, you can, you know, re-hit this, re-hit these for... Which, actually, this one's different. This one's a ghost. But if we hit this one, we actually get a gold green. Um, or another gold green. And if we can step away from there, that would be great. Fantastic. And, you know, obviously catching them, we get the, uh... We get, uh, some more money, which is very good for us uh, over here will just be the will just be that uh, what you call it the fly trap I also realized that last episode I are between last episode because I had something uh, come up between in between recording these episodes uh, I did not check what the enemy names were so I think most of the enemy names that we're going to be seeing, though, like, in this episode, are just ones we've already seen. Not again. That 
pinwheel gate won't open without its veins. Did you see where those skinny ghosts went? Never mind, I'll use the periscope to find them. Hold on a second. Got him! Check your map. Alright, so according to the map, it looks like they... They went to a few different locations. Excuse me. So, we're going to have to find them. First things first, go ahead and grab ourselves another bone. And then we'll head through this door. And it turns out that they decided to go into a few different locations. So, let's go ahead and use a stroll bulb here. Head through this door. Nothing over there. And he's decided to head down into the lower areas of... Um the lower areas of the haunted towers. The basements, you would say. So, we're gonna go ahead and use this to add pressure to the switch. Or I guess pressure to this platform. And we'll make our way down to the gardener's lab. Oh, lovely. Nothing there. And here you are. Come on. There we go. Alright. We got our first wet or our first uh, gate vein. I guess we can just call it a vein. But we don't want to go up uh, back up quite yet. Because there is a door down here. And should we follow this door, we'll find some secrets. For instance, you just pull that out and we get a boo. Am I booleen, true or false? Uh, I don't get that one. You know, these boos are good at puns, and I mean, I'm a punny guy myself, but it's like, I, they're just some ones I don't understand. Wow, he whipped around here like a, like a bat out of hell, I swear. Alright, uh, doesn't look like there's anything over here. There's a treasure chest through here, which we can actually just walk through here or suck up these, in, these fake grates. And then, uh, is there anything over here? There's something there. We can actually pull this down. Get ourselves some more money. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Okay. Well, we'll come back here later, I'm sure. This isn't me referencing future uh, missions. Anyway, go ahead and grab one of these balloons. Uh, excuse yourself. And let's float all the way back up. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and go after those other ghosts as they went to the right. And looks like we have a slammer here. Okay, take care of you. Let you come and take care of you as well. And then suck you both up. Alright, now we need to find this guy. Where is he at? Um, no, seriously, where is he at? What? I checked there! What do you mean he wasn't there? That made no sense to me. Anyway, there's weather vein number two. So now let's go ahead and head out here. Where we'll find our next one. There's a frog. And of course, 
because this game it doesn't, ugh, excuse me, doesn't like to, you know, be fun sometimes. I had to get hit by him. But go ahead and follow this uh, mower. It will destroy the hedge. And also, it'll give us a battle between a gobber and some uh, greenies with the buckets on their heads. Come on. How is that fair? Whatever. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. So, now what we want to do is go ahead and just to see what we can get out of this gobber. There we go. Yeah, I had to take damage there. That figures. Okay, so it looks like he's hiding. What? He, it just showed him hiding there. What do you mean? Oh, my lord. Okay, I guess he's hiding here. I hate these ghosts. I'm not gonna lie. The hider ones are just... Like, they just do not... Do not follow the rules. Or if they do, they just don't follow them very good. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I wanna go around and... Take care of some of these plants before we grab this vein. There we go. And you should be the last one. Okay, what do you got? Oh, it's our next gem. Look at that. Aha! Now, the next ones should just have money for us. Still haven't found a bone. Or no, we did find the bone. Never mind. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> Clearly not me paying attention at all. Alright, looks like we need to head up. Which, you know, this that slammer ghost was checking out this, so let's go ahead and check it out ourselves. Oh? Oh. Oh. Okay, so go ahead and grab this money here. Now we need to wait till these this staircase comes back down. And I think I usually always think that he's supposed to come out before we get up the stairs, like when we're right at the top, but I guess not all the time. Okay, go ahead and take care of these spirit balls. And in here, we'll find some more money. More drive throughs more money. All right, now what we wanna do here is I want to grab this bucket. As there are some goodies in this room that we need to grab. And the only way we can get them is by filling this bucket up with water. And of course, the game is going to be particular on where the bucket is. That's just how the game operates. Did not mean to do that. Anyway, go ahead and come over here and hit that. And then when we uh, use our strobe bulb on these, we'll find our next gem. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I want to check this other thing here. Nope, nothing. Alright. Now what we need to do is there is a invisible pipe here that we need to use our dark light device on. And then... Actually, there is money back there. I, I see that. I see that very clearly. Okay. Um, what we need to do now is just turn on this, uh, this water machine. 
and it'll push water through, uh, watering that plant. Alrighty, let's go ahead and head up. Okay, so looks like there's some more ghosts these here. It looks like both of them are actually gonna hold something that we can rip out of their hands and then catch them for. Why didn't he get caught? Whatever. Okay, where are you, Mr. Ghosty? Where are you at? Where is he? Why is it that he moves every single time? What the hell? I swear. And boom. There we go. And that is four out of five of the we weather veins. Or I guess, not weather veins, but, you know, gate the veins that we need for the gate. But I guess, I don't know, would they be considered weather, weather veins? It's actually something I never thought about. But we're not done in this room yet, as this there is a there's a mouse here that if we shoot, we can get a, another gem. Wowie! Okay. So now, I guess we'll go ahead and head down our head through this door. Where we'll find some more health, which I will gladly take. And is there anything over here? Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, our last vein should be right up these stairs. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this vein. Mainly because of the method we need to get it. Okay, so, what we need to do is it looks like there's going to be three slammers. There we go. Go ahead and swim around. Come on, don't... Don't rip off any of them! Okay, that... Whatever. That's not what I wanted, but... Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and take all of these music sheets. And I'm gonna loop around. Oh, I would have thought there would have been, like, gold behind that. But what we need to do is press this and then try to flash the, um, try to flash the, uh, ghost that is when he pops out of one of the, um, the organ pipes. Actually, I actually struggle with that. That's why I didn't like it. It's because I always struggled with it, because sometimes he would just go back in way too fast. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab our final vein. Yeah. Oh. Good job, Luigi. That was the last vein for the pinwheel gate. I'll bring you back here so we can figure out how to reinstall them. Ciao. Alright, 15 minutes. They're only 35. That's not bad. There we go. That's better. Now he does the, th the animation for the three star rank. Good job scaring those ghosts out of their hiding spots, young feller. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Sorry about the delay there, I was reading something. Alright, we got a new gem. A few new gems. A boo. And we're getting... Uh, oh, we actually made it to our next upgrade. Which is the level 3 um, dark light device. The cooling component in the dark light device has reached its maximum effici efficiency, I think. I think that's that word. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, those ghosts can't hide from you. So yeah, we're at the max for the uh, Poltergeist's power gauge and the dark light device. We'd be in a real pickle if we lost those pinwheel veins. I'm sure we, I have something in my toolbox that we can use to put them back in place. I'll, I'll tell you. You really have a knack for stirring up trouble, youngster. You haven't even reached the hollow tree, and the ghosts are already giving you a hard time. Stay strong, my boy. We'll have that dark moon back in the sky before you know it. Alright, and with that, that's yet another mission complete. And next time on Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, it's time to repair that pinwheel lock. Once that's done, you should be able to get inside the hollow tree and look for the passageway to the top. We head in to the graveyard shift. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. True hoops out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.